a quick one over here i want to share with you a simple forest trading strategy that works perfectly on synthetic indices right those who are using derive to trade just like me yeah it works perfectly in this market and you can use this strategy to get a lot of cash for yourself in this market and along the line i'm going to share with you my mistakes that i've made that make me lose some money in a market i mean trading the synthetic indices and i believe those mistakes you will learn from them and also apply them in your trading journey all right so i believe this video is an important one and you definitely have to watch it to the end because a lot of lessons are inside right here okay so quickly let's give the premises of the whole video the whole thing that we are going to learn the premises of it is based on other block liquidity and fair value gap and i believe most of you know about that already based on the previous videos i've made on this channel right when i talk about my 120 days profitability challenge i made a series of videos that talk about liquidity and i talk about fair value gap and i talk about other block okay so let me define my other block what i call other block as far as this trading is concerned let me look for a typical one and show you uh, so give me just a second let me look out for it on the market i don't want to use any illustration to depict some good so i've gotten one over here let me mark it out then zoom out on the chart i mean zoom in so that we see it very clearly okay is the one right here and i believe you can all see it now i cannot delete this sorry let me delete this over here so that you can see what i'm showing you clearly all right good so i'm going to use this line over here you can see this candle over here this candle is the one that i'm going to call an order block right is the one I'm going to call an other block. Why do I have to call this particular candle an other block and not this black one? All <laughs> right, it's very simple. Let me explain. All right, uh, like I said, you are going to understand a lot of things in this video. So yes, take your time and watch carefully. That's why I'm speaking kind of slowly. I'm not rushing anything. Okay, so if you look at this candle, all right, it strip liquidity of this particular previous candle, right? That's what I want you to understand. And earlier on, or at the beginning of the video, I stated clearly that this whole concept is based on liquidity, fair value gap, and other block. So this is where liquidity is residing, all right? At the close of this candle, the down over here, there's a liquidity over here. So this particular candle, it came down and sweep this liquidity, it swept the liquidity over here, then it closed above, right? And that was not all. That alone doesn't qualify this to be called another block. If you look up right here, there's another candle and there's another candle over here. So we refer to this candle over here as candle one, candle two, then we have candle three over here, right? So if you look at candle one and look at candle three over here, there is a gap between them. Let me change this to this way. All right, I think this is enough. If you look at the high of this particular first candle, candle one, over here, all right, let me just do this quickly. I'm going to just press control and move this up a little bit like this, good. I think over here is enough for us, right? Good, so if you look at this, this is candle one and this is candle three if you look at the top of this candle and the down of this candle you can see there is a gap over here this gap is what you call the fair value gap or an imbalance any way you want to call it it doesn't matter actually what matters is you knowing that there is a gap over there and you knowing that this particular candle is swept liquidity of this candle so we can call this one an other block so this is what we are going to use to look out for trading opportunities in the market this is what i'm talking about this is what we are going to find out if it really works in a market or not and don't forget price is fractal meaning everything that you are seeing on a higher time frame the same thing repeats itself on a lower time frame 
so now i believe we are set for the task ahead now we can go ahead and look for trading opportunities uh this is this 10 one s let me show you something uh quickly i think good there are some few things over here that i want to show you all right if you look at this line and i've drawn over here this is a typical all right this is a typical other block i've marked in the market all right i've marked it on a different time frame but yes it's still valid on this five minutes time frame over here that you are seeing okay and i was expecting price to come into it then move up and lo and behold price came into it actually then it kind of reacted all right price came here reacted went above about uh 16 plus pips something like that yeah it went up before coming down and when it came down it came to break this particular <laughs> it's funny it came to break this particular other block came down right then it started moving up all right it started moving up what do we see we just saw price going up 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 and once price broke this area let me show you once it broke this area it just started moving up crazily it just started moving up crazily and yeah that is something that you also have to take note of take yeah. note of this particular other block stuff right and i've also marked out some things on the market over here okay i've marked out some basic other block over here and i'm yeah. expecting price to push into them and let me zoom in and show you something right some of them price push into them at the time i wasn't even with the charts i hardly used limit orders and that thing actually affected me and i missed some trees i'm going to go into that one but for now let me show you something over here this over here is another block i've marked so i was expecting price to push into it but when price pushed up it did not go into the other block however price just reversed around this zone then it came down all right it came down up to this point what then do we see there's an other block over here this one over here is another block because there's a gap between this and this candle and this one took liquidity over here so there's a typical other block over here all right and that's not all this is also an other block so right now the question now is which one will you choose you have like three other blocks over here we have one two three so which one are you going to choose right myself i wouldn't like to choose the first one actually right even though price reacted from that area I wouldn't like to choose it so I was actually watching the market reacted over here but I don't feel like choosing from this first other block I was expecting to I was expecting it to get to at least you know this second one over here right after breaking out from here let me show you after breaking out from here after price broke this zone downwards I was expecting it to move up to this second other block before coming down but that didn't happen and that's it now let's look at this 10 that was this 10 one s let's look at this 10 on a fifth m5 time frame right now i'm going to send you to a one hour time frame then we come back over here now let's zoom in quickly and see something if if you look over here what do you see i, I want you to answer in a comment section let's 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 I mean, comment what you see over here in the comment section, okay? I'll use this one as the last example, then we we'll close because I don't want the video to keep long. So look at this one. What do you see over here? This candle, what, what do you see over here, right? This is a typical order block, right? Because it took a liquidity over here and there is a gap between this candle and this one over here, this third one. So this is the first candle, second candle, and we have the third candle right here, okay? Now there is a gap between them. So that made this particular candle to be qualified as an order block, right? So I've marked it prior before price even got here. I've marked it down and expecting price to come here. Then we took, then I'll enter for a sell. But then let me also show you something, right? Because I don't want you to just use this thing blindly. If you use them blindly, it's going to affect you, right? So first off, before I even consider the order block, I looked at it and look at the trend of the market right so i use this other block to actually follow the trend and also to pick up a very good reversal points which sometimes i miss sometimes yeah i get it right 
I'm just trying to tell you that no, no strategy is 100% accurate. Now, since you know the, the trend of the market, let's go to the M5 time frame since we've already identified our other block on the, uh, you can you say, on the one hour time frame. Let's come here. So when you come here, you could see I've used this red arrow line over here. This red arrow line is not just an arrow line. I'm using it for something specific. All right. I'm using it for something specific. Let's look at it. Let me just zoom in for you to see. You see what I've marked over here. This is a typical other block on a five minute time frame. The five minute time frame right here. This took our liquidity and there's a gap between this first candle and this can third candle. All right. So I was expecting price on a five minute time frame to push and hit this red, you know, arrow line before it started it start to sell. And lo and behold, look at Look at what happened. Price went hit this perfectly, and then look at it. It just keep moving down, keep moving down. So this is something I want to t tell you, right? Even though I've located this zone on the one hour time frame, this whole zone, the one marked kind of blue over here or gray, it's been located on one hour time frame. But looking at me, looking at my account balance, and I wouldn't like to take trade once. I mean, I wouldn't like to take trade using the one hour order block because if I enter trade with one hour order block, my stop loss has to be above over here, which is definitely going to be something big. All right. So I, I came down to the five minute time frame to, ref, to, to refine my entry. And ref, in refining my entry, I saw this other block and I was like, good, there's an opportunity over here for me. Then I marked it out. But do you know what happened? I don't usually use limit order, so I wasn't with the chart when all this thing happened. I came to see, I saw price over here, all right? I saw price over here when I marked this particular, you know, um, order block. So I went out doing the other stuff. When I came back, I saw price already hit the other block and it started falling. So now I was like, I missed it. And truly true, I missed it. There's no way I'm going to go back to this and get it. Unless I see another opportunity in the market, which yeah, I may take. All right. Yeah. There's there's an other block over here. Actually, if you see it, then you see it. But if you don't see it, then <laughs> you don't see it. All right. <laughs> okay, so I believe this video has been helpful so far. And let me see if there's something over here for me to show you. If it's 25. I I don't want to use this, but yeah, this this are Okay, I told you that I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about my mistake. Okay, sorry, let me just explain about this and we go, right? You can see these are trades that I took and this first one, it took me out almost at break even. And this one, it hit my SL. Now, here's a mistake I made and I don't want you to repeat that, right? So in trading, whenever you have a plan, whenever you have a, a criteria or an entry, you know, rules make sure your rules are met before you take a trade now me i've marked out this zone all right i've marked out this zone that when price get to this particular zone i'm going to enter a trade let me go to the five minute time frame and let's see something hmm. all right we are here so you can see the zone i marked is actually an order block on a five minute time frame I was on a one minute time frame. That's how come you were not seeing it neatly earlier. So the zone I marked was actually an order block on the, on the, you can't say, on a five minute time frame. So let me just go back to the one minute time frame and continue showing you the team. All right, let me zoom out. So I was expecting price to actually come into the zone before I start selling. But then I saw price came here. Then I felt like, oh, then this price is likely going to move and leave me behind. That was when I entered over here. Then I kind of, once it started moving down, I just brought my SL down here so that it will not go against me if it wants to go back to this zone, right? So price was moving up, moving up again, then it hit my SL over here. Then it went up small, then it started selling again. And I was like, this, this is an emotional trade. Like I took this trade based on emotion because my ideal criteria was for price to come into this zone before I would take my entry. And that will allow me to place my stop loss above this, right? And I will not be in massive loss, right? 
So price came here, then started selling. Now I felt like I was like, oh, this price is going to leave me behind and go because I was expecting it to fall actually, right? So what happened is I just quickly entered a trade over here without thinking twice. Then price shut down a little bit in my favor. All of a sudden, it reverse went back to my ideal entry position. Guys, this is what's like, it's crazy. It went back to my ideal position right here, okay? My other block. Then it started selling heavily. It started selling heavily, all right? Look at it, it is still selling, all right? So that's my mistake that I made and I don't want you to be somebody who also repeats the, the same mistake. Yeah, that wouldn't be a nice one actually, okay? So I believe you've learned something from this and I'm hopefully going to see you in my next video. And I bought a 120 days challenge. Yes, I'll update you later on. Yeah, before the day ends. I mean, before the challenge ends, I'll probably update you, right? So stay tuned. And if you find value in this video, kindly go ahead and like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you are not trading synthetic indices and you wish to start trading it, I'm going to leave a link to the broker that I use in the video description. That's the riff. So that you go ahead and register with them and also start trading synthetic indices. My name is Gosui and I hope to see you in the next video. Bless up.